kids, good afternoon. Welcome back again to our JTOP online celebration. Ayan, palapakan naman natin ang bawat isa. Pwede mo bang itap ang shoulder ng katabi mo at pakisabi na good job? Good job kasi pag ilang weeks na natin na nagsen-celebrate ng ating JTOP online celebration. At dahil dyan, very good ka. Ayan. Ulitin ko ang magandang hapon at congratulations sa panibagong week naman na ating gagawin. Excited ka na ba? Alright! Dahil excited ka na, let's have our roll call. Pag tinawag kong pangalan mo, gagawin mo lamang ang ipapagawa ko. Okay lang ba? Okay, let's proceed with our attendance. Okay! Ulitin ko pag tinawag kong pangalan mo, tumayo ka tapos gagawin mo lamang ang aking papagawa. Pwede ko pwede bang tumayo si Daniel Faith Lumasag, Timothy Asaf Lumasag, Francis Lipura, Margaret Gallinero, at saka si Hannah Devora Lumasag. I believe na magkakasama kayong lima. So tumayo kayo at pagkatapos iikot lamang kayo ng tatlong beses. Ayan, tayo ka na. Very good. Sabay sa akin na. Ikot, ikot, ikot. Very good! Maraming salamat! And now, tatawagin ko naman si Sean Hamir, Yuan Hamir, Simon Hamir, and Stanley Morales. I believe na magkakasama kayong apat. Kung pwede, tumayo kayo at pagkatapos tatalo kayo ng tatlong beses. Alright, sabay-sabay tayo. Talon, talon, talon! Very good! Good job! Maraming salamat sa inyong partisipasyon. Ngayon naman, tatawagin ko ang magkakasama din. Si Dwayne Isaac, Isaac Ambalong, Angela Faith Batilier, at saka si Anton Gerard Gayola. Pwede bang tumayo kayo at pagkatapos, i-high five ninyo ang bawat isa. High five! High five! High five! Good job! Maraming salamat! Ayan, ang gagaling naman ninyo. So ngayon naman, ang tatawagin ko ay magkakasama rin sila. Si... Ashley Princess Gascon, Nicole Bautista, Miracle Grace Potasio, at saka si Zorian Yuri Bautista. Pwede bang tumayo kayo apat at pagkatapos, ang gagawin naman ninyo is itatop ang shoulder ng kasama ninyo ng tatong beses. Ayan, tayo kayo. Very good. Top, 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 and give him or her a beautiful smile. Ayan, dapat nakangiti palagi. At syempre, tatawagin ko rin si Shara Jade Canonigo, Lorilyn Bautista, and si Zrael Yushi Bautista, at isama ko na rin si Ashley Cassandra Impang. Pwede bang tumayo kayo apat? Kung hindi mo kayo magkakasama, tumayo lang kayo. At pagkatapos, ang gagawin naman ninyo is i-fist bump. Ayan, fist bump. Fist bump ang bawat isa. Fist bump, fist bump, fist bump. Very good, kids! And of course, Si Ate Maria Sofia Daniel Tusoy and si Maria Athena Dion Tusoy. Hello, Ate Maria. Hello, Ate Una. Kamusta kayo? Pwede bang tumayo kayo tapos i-hug ninyo ang bawat isa. Ayan, hug! Very good! Ayan, sa mga hindi naman natawa, pwede bang tumayo kayo? Sabay-sabay tayo lahat, iikot ng tatlong beses tapos ngingitian ang katabi. Alright, tayo na lahat tapos ikot tayo ng tatlong beses. Ikot, ikot, ikot. And of course, give your beautiful smile. Very good, kids. Thank you for your participation. So this time, let's ready our hearts and our mind to worship God through our praise and worship through the life of Kuya Jude. Tayo tayo and let's give a hand to God. Come on kids, let's stand and let's worship the Lord. Open your heart today and let's have some grooves.
Abraham and Sarah were getting old, but they did not have any children. They prayed hard to God to grant them a child, and finally God heard their prayers. You are a good man, Abraham, and I know you love me. Don't worry. You will have a child, and many descendants as well. As God had promised, Abraham and Sarah were soon blessed with a beautiful baby boy. Both of them were overjoyed and named the baby Isaac. Oh Lord, I have no words to express my gratitude to you for this precious gift you have given us. Abraham and his wife Sarah watched with pride and joy as their son grew up into an obedient and loving son. Abraham taught his son to love and worship the Lord just as he did. He made it known to him that he was a very, very special child who God had promised to Abraham and Sarah. Isaac learned his lessons well and made his parents proud of him. One day, God decided to test Abraham's faith in him and visited him one night. Abraham. Abraham. Who, who is it? It is me, Abraham, your Lord. I have come to ask you something. Tell me, do you really love me? How can you even ask me such a question, my lord? There is nothing and no one that I love more than you. Well, then, will you do as I tell you to without questioning me? Of course, God. I don't even know why you even doubt that I will disobey any command you give me. I have spent my entire life loving, worshiping, and obeying you. I know. I know. But this will be a very difficult test for you. I am willing to undergo any test you have for me. Your wish is my command, O oh Lord. Good. That is what I expected to hear from you. Now listen carefully. Tomorrow morning, as the sun starts rising, I want you to take your son, Isaac, to a mountain I will direct you to. And there I want you to offer him as a burnt sacrifice to me. In those days, Burnt sacrifices were made of animals, which were tied to an altar made of wood and stones, and then burnt. Abraham couldn't believe what he was hearing. Offer his son to God, the child that God himself had given him. But then he thought about what God had told him earlier about having many descendants. God has promised me descendants, but how will I have descendants unless I have a son? I cannot question God for he knows best. It is a very tough test that God wants me to take. I don't know how I will be able to kill my own son. What is the matter, Abraham? Is it too difficult a task for you to obey? Your love for your son means more than doing what I am asking you to do? No, no, God. My son is, after all, your gift to me. So if you want him back, how can I refuse? Good. So now listen carefully to what I am going to tell you. Tomorrow morning, I will guide you to the place where you must sacrifice your son. It is in the land of Moriah. I will do as you say, God. The next morning, Abraham called for his two servants and told them to saddle up and load the donkey with wood and prepare to go on a journey. He then called his son. Isaac, my son, God wants me to make a burnt sacrifice, and you have to come along with me for this. Yes, father, but where do we have to go? We have to go to Moriah, son. Though I too do not know the exact place, God will show us the way to get there. So Abraham along with his son and two servants, 
set off to where God wanted him to make a sacrifice of his son. The thought of killing his beloved son made his heart very heavy, but he did not show his feelings to his son. They walked for two whole days, eating the food they were carrying and sleeping on the road. Finally, on the third day, Abraham saw in the distance the mountain where God wanted him to make the sacrifice. On reaching there, Abraham told his servants to wait with the donkey while he and Isaac went up. Isaac, you carry the wood, and I will carry the knife and coal. The coal is too hot for you to carry. As they were climbing up, Isaac looked questioningly at Abraham. Father? Yes, my dear child? You said that God had asked you to make a burnt sacrifice. Yes. We are only carrying the wood for the altar, but where is the animal that has to be sacrificed? Abraham didn't know what reply to give his son, so he just looked away. Tell me, father, where is the animal? Son, I have full faith in my Lord. He will provide the animal to be sacrificed. Abraham and Isaac proceeded to the top. And when they reached there, Abraham set about to make the altar with stones and wood. As he was doing so, tears were streaming down his face. Why are you crying, father? What is the matter? Abraham quickly wiped away his tears and looked at his beloved son with a sad smile. Nothing, my child, nothing. Though Abraham had full faith in his Lord, and couldn't think of disobeying him, he still dreaded the thought of plunging a knife into his only and most loved son. However, the thought of not doing what God wanted him to do never crossed his mind. He slowly started gathering big rocks and placed them one on top of the other, and then placed the wood over them. When the altar was ready, he gently tied his son's arms and led him to it. Isaac was horrified but did not utter a word. My son, I cannot tell you how much it pains me to do this, but I must do it. It is my word to God. Please, son, never ever doubt my love for you. With a deep breath, Abraham raised the knife high above his head. But before he could bring it down and kill his son, an urgent voice called out to him. Stop, Abraham. In the name of the Lord, stop. You will not hurt your son. What? Abraham looked up and saw an angel standing there. The angel looked at Abraham with a gentle smile. God is very happy with you. To obey his order, you were willing to sacrifice your beloved son, who means so much to you. You have proved that your love for God is above everything and everybody, but now you do not have to sacrifice your son. Abraham could not believe his eyes. He breathed a deep sigh of relief and knelt down with his arms outstretched. Praise be to my Lord, the Master! The Lord will grant you as many descendants as there are stars in the sky, as there are grains of sand on the beaches. You are the Lord's blessed one. Glory be to you, O God! I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Abraham got up and went to his son and untied him. Come to me, my precious child. I hope you know that I love you dearly, but I had to do what I did as I could not disobey my Lord. I know, father, and I never doubted your love for me even for a minute. Both father and son hugged each other joyously. Just then, Abraham heard a sound. He looked around and saw a ram that had got caught by its horns in a bush. He quickly went and killed the ram, offering it as the sacrifice instead of his son. He then held his son's hand, and they both turned around to make their way down. This place shall be called Jehovah Jireh, which means the Lord provides. Those who love him will always have his blessings. So saying, both father and son went down and headed back home.
boys and girls, to our program Crafts. My name is Lola and I'm here with Trinity, David, Daniel, and Julie. Today I will be telling the story of Abraham. Afterwards, we will be doing a fun craft sheep to represent a symbol of God. Let's begin. Do you guys know the story of Abraham? Yes. Well, Abraham loved God so much, he prayed every day and night and before every single meal. So when God asked Abraham to sacrifice his son, what do you think Abraham did? He said yes. He said yes. That's right, he did. So Abraham, he, was on his, he took a donkey and his son and he went to the mountain to sacrifice his son. But on the way, some people asked him what he was doing. What do, you, what do you think Abraham said to the people? Nothing. No, he said that he was going hunting with his son. So, um, so he took his son to the mountain, and as he was about to sacrifice his son, an angel came to Abraham and told him, Do not touch your son. God saw that you passed the test, and he gave you, he gave you something else to sacrifice. He gave him a sheep instead of his son. So Abraham was so happy that his son Isaac would still be alive, his only son Isaac would still be alive, and that God was not mad at him. So today we will be making a paper sheet. So first, we need a blue piece of paper, one for Trinity, one for David, one for Daniel, and one for Julie. And we need paper, each of us need a paper plate. And scissors for each of us. We will be using a back piece of paper for the heads. And we each get three cotton, pieces of cotton. So we'll start by cutting the body. You cut the inside of the plate into a circle. Have you guys made a sheep before? No. No. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So we'll each use a glue stick. So what we do next is we put a little glue over the paper plate and glue it to the to the paper. You put it on the paper and press really hard until it sticks. And then you take your cotton balls and you put it on the body of your sheep. After you do the fur, it's time to cut the legs and the head. So take your black piece of paper Make, yeah, make a circle. It can be as big as you want it to be. It could be a really big sheep or a really small one. Once you guys finish cutting it, you can glue your head and the ears to the paper. And then we can get started on the legs. 
two years. Yeah. Once you guys are done with your sheep, you each get a piece of grass to put at the bottom of your paper. How you glue the grass is you can put it on the blue paper. You can make a line with your glue. And you could put the grass over it. And press down very hard to make sure it's it won't come off. Each of you get two eyes. You can choose what size you want. You want the big ones? You want many? Okay. Here are the big eyes. So today we made a sheep that's related to the story of Isaac. And it's related because the sheep resembles a symbol of God. We used blue contact paper, and we used green paper for the grass. We used a small black rectangular paper for the heads, the ears, the legs, and we used a paper plate for the body and cotton balls for the wool, and we like ripped the top to make it soft. We also used googly eyes, and that's it. Goodbye with a new episode and a new story and a new craft.